Hey guys, it's Apple Phenom, and today we have a tutorial. And the tutorial is going to be how to uh, take a picture that you took in front of a green screen and um, put whatever you want behind that and uh, completely eliminate the green screen. So this is uh, pretty simple to do, and um, you can do it completely for free. But uh, you may have to get some components like a camera or a green screen. But th those are easy to get, and they're not too expensive. So let me just get into the part that you may want to be listening to. So um, the thing that you need to have is a photo editor. Now, if you have Photoshop, great. Um, but if you don't and don't want to spend any money whatsoever, get the program Pixelmator. Um, it's an amazing program. Um, I will have the link in it for link in the description and a serial code for it because it's a, normally fifty nine dollars, um, and also um, you can get it for free with uh, through uh, serial code. So I'll also have the serial code in the description. So let me open up Pixelmator. Take it. A, it'll take a second. And it has this nice layout here. Um, I'm going to open an existing image image to uh, um, edit that image. So let me get that. It'll bring up a couple tools and a finder window. And you're going to want to pick your image. I'm just going to get it from my iPhoto library. And I'm going to scroll down to some green screen picks and I'll pick the one of my dog and so there's that image of the dog I'm gonna make the window a little bit smaller so it's more manageable All right. so let me bring this in here and there you have it so the main thing you wanna do is you wanna go over to this tool over here called the magic wand tool it's a tool that um, it takes a solid color that's in the picture and it uh it highlights it so you can uh, so you can cut it out of the um, of the uh, photo so I'm gonna click that and it has the little magic wand uh, kinda look to it so um, what you do is you hold it down in the area of the green screen not on the dog because then it'll highlight just the dog and uh, then you'll cut that out but that's not what you wanna do right now you wanna get the background so what you do is you hold it down and then you drag and you see the tolerance there and you'll see some color start to evaporate on the screen I'm going to use evaporate because that's a word that I'm familiar with and as you can see it's uh, completely purple so that means that um, it has selected the area um, that you want to cut out so you might want to get it done a little bit more so that you can get it almost completely but don't do it so that the subject gets cut out when uh, the there's purple on the subject that means that um, you're cutting out the uh, the subject so then you let go of the uh, mouse and uh, if you have a faster computer my computer is pretty slow so it'll it'll highlight all of it as you can see it's got that kind of uh, the I don't know how that how, what those are what, uh, what that's called but it's uh, moving lines so uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna press um, Apple or flower or if you're using a Windows um, uh, keyboard then I'm gonna, I'm going to press um, window uh, and then you press X um, on top of that it's like control X or uh, Apple X and uh, it'll cut out what's highlighted it won't cut the dog or the or your subject out I'm using the dog right now so I'm kinda stuck on that in my head so I'm gonna click uh, control X and it cuts out most of it, but as you can see, there's a couple other ones. Uh, I'll zoom in so you can see it. As you can see, they're they're right over there. And uh, all you have to do is just go um, to do Apple Plus or whatever you're using there, and you have to take a tool called um, I don't know what it's called. I forgot the lasso tool, and um, you do a circle around what you're using here. And you press Control X, move the circle over to the other dot. Control X, move the circle to the other dot. Control X, and I think I saw one down here. You can just drag it to wherever you need to take it, and there's one right there. So you can do Control X. So there you go. All blemishes are gone. And then once you got that, I don't know. 
kind of zoom out of there, um, you want to go over and get an image. Um, I'm just going to get an image off of Google Images to be the backdrop. So, you see what I can find here. Um, right, let me get rid of this. Alright, so I'm going to pick um, this one here. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And save it as sky. Alright, and once that's done, close out this window. Actually, quit Safari because it's slowing down my recording speed. And I'll just drag and drop this into there and as you can see it uh, kind of messed up there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to image I'm gonna go to uh, layer no sorry I'm kind of uh, I'm gonna search and help uh, show show layers I'm gonna search layers Oh, okay. My layers popped up, so anyway, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drag this layer of the sky below the dog here. So I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to go to image. Um, let's see if I can remember what I'm doing here. It's it's a weird word. Oh, there it is. It's uh, okay. So edit. Let me press cancel. Go to edit. Free transform. And then that's it. That's what it's called. And then you can move it to center, and then you can make it a lot larger. So I'm sorry that it took so long. Um, all right. So and there you have it. You can move the uh, subject around too if you highlight the. Uh, I'm gonna apply that and uh, highlight the uh, the the subject that you're moving around, and you can move it. Whoops. Sorry. I want to click on that and then you just move him around move him or her or whatever you're moving around so um, I have it centered oh, I'm so retarded today sorry about that guys um, so that's how you use this so I hope this has been helpful um, sorry it took me so long because I forgot where it was it's uh, file edit uh, scale or free transform so uh, that's that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video um, uh, tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.